Welcome to another episode of Sneak Leaks. Today we're going to be talking about a lot of exciting shoes coming from Nike in 2021. First up is the Vomero 15. So after rumors of extinction and a couple of years without an update, the Vomero is returning in 2021. It was supposed to be out by now if it were a COVID-free world, but now it seems it'll be early 2021, and I've even heard as early as January. The Vomero 15 gets a top-to-bottom remake. The upper looks plush and secure with an external heel counter, fly cables, and some extra padding on the tongue and heel collar. The midsole gets a few different types of cushion. I've heard a couple different reports. Most are saying that it has ZoomX in the heel, and then the rest is React Foam and a Air Zoom unit in the forefoot. But new advertising is saying that there will be a ZoomX core with a soft EVA foam surrounding it and a Pegasus 37 size zoom unit in the forefoot. Either way, this shoe will have a bit of ZoomX and an Air Zoom bag inside of it. The outsole has a lot of rubber and a lot of coverage. This shoe seems like it'll be very plush and a great long distance workhorse. So this year, the Pegasus got a big redesign with the new React midsole, the bigger air zoom units, and the redesigned upper. So with big changes in 2020, the Pegasus 38 doesn't have that many changes coming up in 2021. The Peg 38 will feature the same outsole and midsole, but will utilize a new upper. I really hope they make the tongue more padded and improve the fit around the heel because those were two of my biggest complaints about the Pegasus 37. It's expected to keep its $120 price tag and release around June or July. So I think there's a lot of people, myself included, that thought the Alpha Fly was a replacement for the Vaporfly Next Percent. The Vaporfly Next Percent V2 will keep the same outsole and the same ZoomX and carbon plated midsole, but gets a brand new upper. The changes on the upper include a new engineered mesh that seems to be more reminiscent of the Atom Knit that you'll find on the Alpha Fly. But one thing I found a bit weird is that they're adding a toe bumper on it now, which I guess is supposed to help prevent blowouts and make the upper more durable. And then one final change that I'm happy about is the tongue gets extra padding. So there's a rumor that Nike is dropping the price on these down to $225. So that's $25 cheaper than the Vaporfly Next Percent V1. So I'd be very shocked if that's actually true, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. These are expected to come out in summer of 2021. So the popular Infinity React and React Myler are getting some updates in 2021 as well. Again, they're just upper updates, but I think that's something that is much needed. I really wanted to like the Infinity React, but I had major heel slippage problems I couldn't get the upper locked down, the fit was just a little wonky, so I'm hoping that the Infinity React V2 will fix a lot of these issues. The React Myler is a $130 shoe, but to me the upper looked dated and even like a department store shoe. In 2021 it gets a more seamless and modern looking upper. But the real exciting news is a new model to accompany these two and it's called the ZoomX Invincible. This shoe has a plush and comfortable upper an external heel counter and heel clip, and as the name implies, the midsole is Zoom X. I'm assuming it's 100% Zoom X, but there is a possibility it has some React in there as well, but either way, that's a lot of cushioning. So someone who has tried a prototype of the Zoom X Invincible described it as being very light despite that much cushioning. So the max cushion Zoom X Invincible will cost $180, and it was supposed to be out around February 2021, but I would not be surprised at all if that was pushed until later into the year. So as you can see, there are a lot of exciting new shoes coming from Nike in 2021. What ones are you looking most forward to? Let me know in the comments down below, and as always, keep on running.